So, what gives hipster oats? Our football team, our Quakers. <laughs> no, not your costume. The crush you say you have on me. I want, like, a timeline. So? First day of school, new town after my dad died. First time I saw you was right after Spiros introduced me in front of the class. You must be Dylan. Welcome. Class, I'd like for you to meet Mr. Dylan Holtmeyer. He's new here, so please don't be yourselves. Be nice. It was a good first impression. <laughs> a few weeks later, I saw you at the moonlight. And when Jed tried wrapping his arm around you. <laughs> ow, ow, oh, oh. And then, on the day after the election. Mara, why are you wearing that? Because I'm motherfucking grieving. You got detention for the profanity. Motherfucking worth it. It's cliche, but you wrote a poem last spring that made me feel like you understood me, even though we barely talked. I printed you on Facebook afterwards. I looked at your pictures sometimes. I even gave you my number, but I think you forgot or never saved it in your phone. I hoped we'd run into each other during the summer, but never did. And then it was senior year, and I thought, why try? We're going to college. And that made me sad, because you seemed so cool and original. But then... <laughs> When Caitlin died, I didn't see you anywhere. You had two backpacks. One of them was hers. Are you okay? I, I don't know what to do with this. I can take care of it. Wait. When what happens again? You said it might happen again. I thought, whoa, maybe I've been wasting my entire life preparing for a year that may never come for me. So fuck it. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I'm gonna spend my savings on a car. I'm not gonna be scared anymore. I'm not. Wait, are, are you even listening to me?